Congratulations. You are doing excellent and we are moving along perfectly. I hope you are keeping up. And remember, you want to did it, to do this as we are going along. Now it is a time for you to register your business. There are several ways to register your business. Some you can probably do online. Others you have to go to your local city hall. I know some states and some countries that they only do it at your city hall. So you probably have to do that. Now. It should not cost you more than $99 to register your business. However, it depends on where you live. I'm not certain how it works outside of the U.S. or in certain states. But I can tell you that it shouldn't cost you that much money at all. Now, when it comes to registering your business, you can basically do a Google Business Registry for your state to find out where to register your business. Go there and register your business. This is absolutely crucial. Remember, you do not want to procrastinate. You want to do this as we are moving along. So that way, by the end of the course, you'll have a business ready for you to run and manage. Now, when registering your business, you got to find out what you will register your business as. Now, you can use all of them here. It depends on how big you want your business to be. Now, I highly recommend a DBA for you in the beginning. So what that is, is doing business as. You could do that, you know, in the beginning. However, some of you want to start big in the beginning. If that is the case, then you need to find out which one works for you. Now, what you need to do is you need to, do, to go to the Small Business Administration or the SBA. Then what you can do is you find out which one works best for your style of business. Remember, this business could be as big as you want it to be and as small as you want it to be. But that also determines what you're going to register it as. If it's really big and you have the means to do that, you probably want, will not want to do a DBA. So another website you can go to, you can go to a legal zoom website. They have tons of stuff, a lot of legal stuff on there for free for you as a business owner or as an entrepreneur. So if that's what you're doing, you would definitely want to visit that to determine which one you want to do. I do not personally want to tell you what you need to do. It really depends on how big you want the business to be. If you are in the U.S., you can actually contact your local small business office and find out what you should register it as. I do not know. Again, this is something that you would definitely check in with your local city hall. Or again, you can visit the legal Zoom website. They have a great, great, great platform there to learn about that. Now, if that's what you want to do, then I highly suggest that you pick the right choice for your type of business. Now, if you are outside of the U.S., I do not know what you need to do. Certain countries have certain rules and regulations, so you need to check with your local city hall to make certain that you pick the most appropriate title for your business or registration, rather, for your business. Or another thing you can do, you can definitely Google it and do some research on Google and find out which one you preferred. Remember, it is up to you what you want your business to be registered as.